in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 5 to 8, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 5 to 8, the Bible says, Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in singleness of your heart, as unto Christ. 6. Not with eye service, as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. 7. With good will, doing service, as to the Lord, and not to men. 8. Knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bound or free. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, the grace to be submissive to my spiritual head fall upon me in the name of Jesus. The grace to be submissive to my spiritual head fall upon me in the name of Jesus. The grace to be submissive to my spiritual head fall upon me in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV. A TV season that will teach you how to interpret your dreams with warfare prayers. I'm Evangelist Joshua from Lagos. You are watching your dream in with Evangelist Joshua. Today's topic is cleaning my general overseer office. Cleaning my general overseer office. Organs, right. Good morning, sir. I dreamt that I was working as an usher and my general overseer asked us to clean his office. But I'm not an usher in the waking life, but a pastor's wife. What does it mean, sir? Thank you. Thanks for writing, Hogan. A church usher is the one who welcomes people and shows them their seat. They ensure order and security of church services. According to your dream, dream about usher represents your department, while the general overseer in that dream represents the spiritual head of the church or your spiritual head. Being a pastor wife is a big work that entails lots of responsibilities and activities. If in your dream, you see a general overseer asking you to clean his office. It's a good omen. It has several meaning and symbolism. First, he wants to test your faith. Second, he wants to test your loyalty. Third, he wants to test your commitment. Fourth, he wants to test your humility. Fifth, he wants to test your availability. To see yourself walking as an usher in the dream. To see yourself walking as an usher in the dream is a sign that God wants you to be friendly with people that comes to you. To see yourself working as an usher, as a pastor's wife, it could be a sign that God wants you to correct some abnormalities going on in the church and give you that ability to monitor people with close attention. The general overseer asking you to clean his office was done to see your willingness or your availability to do God's work. To clean the office of a general overseer or geo is a great honor because it means that you will receive the reward or the blessings of a prophet. When you clean the office of the geo in a dream, it means God wants to use you to clean the church or to put away those things that may give a church a bad name. The message behind this dream is to be submissive to people, to be submissive to your master, for them to teach, to guide and exhort you. If you are a pastor wife in the waking life and you are seen cleaning his office, it's a confirmation that you have passed a divine test. This may allow God to work with you better. Also, cleaning the office of the geo may also mean that cleaning the house of God and getting rid of anything that may want to spoil, corrupt, or tarnish the church image, or tarnish the image of someone. After this dream, it could also indicate divine blessings to come in your life. Say Amen. The dream signifies that the problems in your life will be cleansed away by God due to your humility, loyalty, and obedience to spiritual head. To clean the office of the general overseer in that dream, even as a pastor wife, it may reflect your desire to be submissive to some of your spiritual head, including your husband, so that you can flourish in ministry, so that you can live a fulfilled life in your marriage. You are a person who likes to recognize the role of some special or important persons in your life, and you want to make them happy at your selfless service to them. This type of dream also shows a big changes that is coming to you. But God wants to see your readiness to get hold of that blessing that may come to you anytime soon as a result of your submissiveness, as a result of your loyalty, as a result of your obedience. The Bible says, God tested the faith of Abraham. Please don't feel as if you are a slave to a person according to that dream. Just believe within yourself that God is taking you to a greater height in ministry. So as a pastor's wife, if you like the work of an usher, you can become their leader. 
So being an usher in a dream does not limit you as a pastor's wife. Neither does it bring down your anointing. It's a stepping stone to a better tomorrow in the ministry. May God continue to help you in your ministry. Say no to high service. Say no to men pleasers. And always be obedient, diligent in the service of God. And the Lord will lift you higher in Jesus' name. Because God has tested your loyalty and you have passed. May you pass divine tests in Jesus' name. Instruction and back on three days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Ask God to use you. Ask God to use you more in his vineyard. Ask God to use you more in his vineyard. Close your eyes. Take prayer upon number one loud and clear. Say, Holy Spirit, empower me to do great exploits in ministry. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, empower me to do great exploits in ministry. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, empower me to do great exploits in ministry. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer number two. Say, Oh God, promote me beyond my widest imagination. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, promote me beyond my widest imagination. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, promote me beyond my widest imagination. In Jesus' name. Prayer number three. Say, Father, show me the areas you want me to work for you. In the name of Jesus. Father, show me the areas you want me to work for you. In the name of Jesus. Father, show me the areas you want me to work for you. In Jesus' name. Prayer number four. Say, spirit of pride and hypocrisy in me. I flush you out in the name of Jesus. Spirit of pride and hypocrisy in me. I flush you out in the name of Jesus. Spirit of pride and hypocrisy in me. I flush you out in Jesus' name. Prayer point number five, the last prayer point. Say, O Lord, I need the grace to be submissive in life and ministry. In the name of Jesus. O Lord, I need the grace to be submissive in life and ministry. I need the grace to be submissive in life and ministry. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, at every point of our life, God can test us. He can use dreams like this to test us. Hey, how can me, a pastor, why be cleaning the cleaning uh, geo's office? How can me be, you know, doing all kind of things? God is testing you. He's testing you as a woman and as a man. So I pray may you pass that divine test in Jesus' name. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. Once again, it's Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.